Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Start your free trial today at squarespace.com slash Daniel Schiffer and use code Daniel Schiffer to get 10% off your first purchase. Is a kit lens good enough? This is a question that many photographers and videographers have asked themselves at some point when looking into buying a new camera. Now, for those of you who don't know, a kit lens is a lens that is sold in the box as a bundle with a camera body, and typically these bundles do save you a couple of bucks compared to if you bought the two products separately. Now, there is a little bit of a stigma around kit lenses because they do tend to be kind of basic, but there are a couple of things about kit lenses that do make having one in your kit worthwhile. But is a kit lens good enough to take great photos and videos? The answer is 100% yes. Now the thing is, if a kit lens is good enough, then why do I bother spending piles of money on expensive lenses like the Zeiss Battis 25mm or the 16-35mm to G Master? There are a whole bunch of reasons I can give you to rationalize this, but let's start with the most important one, which is that these expensive lenses were not purchased with the intention of replacing my kit lens. In fact, I still have my very first kit lens and I still use it for a lot of work, including paid client projects. Projects. For example, here are two videos I shot for a client just last week using the Sony a6500 with the 16 to 50 millimeter kit lens. So both of those sequences were shot on the Sony a6500 with the 16 to 50 millimeter kit lens, and I used this cage from Small Rig to mount the camera sideways on the Zion Crane Plus. That way I could get the maximum resolution for Instagram's vertical platform. Now this setup is extremely lightweight, allowing me to use the smallest gimbal I had at my disposal, making the shoot quicker, more efficient, and easier on my back and arms. Not to mention being in such a tight space behind the counter, having a smaller setup made it much easier easier to get smooth camera movements. Now just for the sake of comparison, if I had been using my 16 to 35 millimeter G Master, this lens alone weighs more than the Sony a6500 and kit lens combined, meaning I would have needed a much bigger gimbal, a more expensive cage, and I would have had a lot less space to get those camera movements I wanted, and not to mention as someone who already has some back issues, I definitely would not have been doing myself any favors. Now for both of those videos I just showed you, I technically could have used the Sigma 16mm f1.4 art lens. This would have given me a more shallow depth of field and slightly better quality glass. However, the advantage of using the kit lens instead is that because it's a zoom lens, I get multiple focal lengths, and also having a smaller form factor does make it easier to balance and operate when you're mounting the camera sideways on a gimbal. So those are just a couple of other things I actually like about using a kit lens. Now, believe it or not, I've actually filmed a ton of videos with my kit lens long before I ever bought any new glass, and you can check some of those out on my website, which I built with Squarespace. Customizing your Squarespace website is extremely straightforward, and as you can see, adding these videos to my portfolio was an absolute breeze. Another thing I really love about Squarespace is that they have tons of templates to choose from, so if you're a filmmaker, a photographer, a musician, a designer, or if you have a restaurant or any other business, Squarespace has you covered because they have so many options and layouts. Squarespace is offering all of my viewers 10% off their first purchase, and all you have to do is go to squarespace.com slash Daniel Schiffer and use the code Daniel Schiffer and start your free trial today. So kit lenses definitely have their place in the photo and video world, and there are many situations where I would actually rather use a kit lens over something fancier. Now just to be clear, I'm not trying to convince you that a kit lens is better than a G Master or an Art Lens or some L series glass, but what I do hope you can take away from this video is that if you're getting into photo and video, there's no need to be discouraged by the price of lenses or any other gear for that matter. And the best thing you can do is just work with what you have because after all, what makes a video good isn't the gear itself, it's how you use it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then make sure you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at daniel.schiffer and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.